Okay, so we're going to locate Tarful on Kashik. Defo, there's Kashik. Bagano's where we started. Dathomir was another area that was referenced when we were on Bagano. But we're going to head to Kashik now. When this is all over, I think it'll be time to settle down, you know, fall in love. Start a family. Love? You? Yeah, you think a guy like me doesn't know love? I bet you're going to tell me. Let me tell you. It's the best. But bet you're going to tell me. Let me tell you. It's admiration, devotion, attraction, and respect. Please. That's actually very insightful. Yeah, well, it comes with experience. <laughs> Can't look this good and not steal a few hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. And he's humble, too. Amazing. Uh, Munch, good right, question. I'd, I'd prefer to just kind of figure it out myself, I think. Remember to be on the lookout for big evil frogs. Only as a last resort. Well, I break the mantis's transponder to transmit imperial signals. Hey, Grease. Yeah. Keep your power signature low and act like we belong. Just like Bracca. No, it's right. I, I love this guy. Set of hands. Just please keep your eye on the scanner. All please. right. All right. All right. Hey, Jelvin. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thanks, John. Preoccupied with something on the ground. We're clear. I'm pretty excited to see the Wookiees, actually. I think this is going to be cool. That doesn't look good. The Empire is devouring Kashyyyk for its natural resources. Wookiees have been enslaved. Or displaced. That was weird flickering. Oh, that was a close one, kid! Aren't you supposed to be watching the monitors? Guerrilla fighters. Wookiees and off-worlders ambushing an Imperial convoy. Walkers approaching their position. Tarful could be with him. Tarful could be anywhere. Like deep in the ground, like we're gonna be if we get caught up in that battle down there. We don't have any other options. And and we'll die without our help. So what's your plan? Sabotage. We use the scrap walkers on Braca. I'll just jack one. <laughs> get a load of the kid. He thinks we're back in a clone war. Captain, uh, get us near those walkers. Wait, what? Listen, those walkers double as troop transport, so once you get inside, be careful. I have no freeze grease to work as magic. Hey. Man, Grease looks unbelievable. Stay they did a great job there. with him. I'll add it to the plan. Right if you're jumping, you better do it Jeez. now, kid. This is very confident. You ready for a swim, BD? <laughs> Are they going to explain how he's, like, completely waterproof? Whoa! You ready to do this? <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, look at the waves, even? That's cool. Uh, I might just be swimming to my death. I'm not sure. Wonder how we get inside. Yeah, I'll try the leg. Say I try the leg? Well, we're gonna climb him. Oh. <laughs> 
Shadows of the Colossus nostalgia right here. Okay. Now we're... I love that this is a thing. Okay. Right. Let's try this, again. <laughs> this is like the rope all over again. So Koiken said he went and counted the uh, the first VOD, and there was like uh, four deaths, I think. So with yesterday's, what are we at in total, Koiken? Hey, Maui girl. Thanks so much for stopping by. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks, fantastic. Oh, there's a little trooper at the top. I'm not sure where the actual entry point is. I'm just going to keep following this until it lets me. Oh, hello. This just takes me to the other side. Here we go. Whoa! That'll do. Oh, don't tell me I'm driving this. Cryptobisk, thanks for coming by. Linus 117. Holy moly. We're in the presence of royalty, you guys. What are we supposed to be doing here? Doing okay, BD1? <laughs> are we on Grandmaster? Yes. Oh, okay. We got a few more for you. Stay on you. Yeah, someone else take a hit. We have to stop him. Are we completely in, uh, invincible when we go into that animation? Don't kill me. It feels like we probably are. Hey, Bevan. Scanners. They brought more firepower than we thought. How's our hull looking? Badly damaged. We're at 70% integrity and in falling. That should still be enough to stop out these insurgents. Keep us steady. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll take over from here, thanks. Worked. Okay. Uh, I'm willing to suspend some disbelief there. Oh, please give me control. Let's do this. Oh, I do have control. So those are the blasters. You said it. Out of the way. Damn. Oh. 
This is very Jedi-like. Hey! Who are you? Someone who just brought Nat out to the table. Who are you? Someone making the Empire angry. <laughs> Are we having this conversation right now? Would my five support? Copy that. Let's make him even angrier. I'll focus the big thing in the back. No big deal. What's Forrest Whitaker doing here? Sounded like him. Whoa. We could probably use those strategically, but it just feels really good to blow everything up right now. Didn't you, honestly didn't even see that thing. It's headed for us. Can you do anything? Hold on. Damn. We're starting off heavy. I like it. Linus, thanks for the four months, man. Adgers, thanks for the 15. And Night Runner, thanks for the 28, you guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm okay. You all right? Why is no, he making mouth sounds as if he's hurt? <laughs> good question. You just wrecked a perfectly good walker. Got a name? Cal Kestis. So Guerrero. Oh, it is him. What are you doing on Kashyyyk? Looking for somebody. What are you doing here? My companions and I came to Kashyyyk to disrupt Imperial supply lines. Hey! So, who are you looking for? A Wookiee chieftain named Tarful. Tarful is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? He's THE freedom fighter. A symbol of the Wookiee resistance. Striking at the Empire from the Shadowlands. Hmm. Seer, Grease, this is Saul. How you doing? What do you want with Toph? Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. <clears throat> Get that over corpse? My master gave it to me. This I've been customizing it. The Imperial refinery that runs on Wookiee slave labor. Intel suggests that some of the captives there are guerrilla fighters. Hey, Zana. I should help them. One of them might know how to contact Tarful. It's possible. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. The Manus works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but <laughs> it is not built for close support. Excellent pilot. We'll stay here and monitor Imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. Appreciate it. My lieutenants and I will scout ahead to prepare the attack. Join us when you're ready. Go, go. Oh, look, there's Wookiees, man. This is cool. Multiple entries for... Okay, so chapter three, a fateful meeting. While descending into Kashyyyk's atmosphere, the Mantis crew became embroiled in a skirmish between Imperial forces and freedom fighters. Believing Wookiee chieftain Tarful could be among them, Cal jumped ship and hijacked an AT-AT, piloting it into the infamous insurgent Saw Jurera. Saw and his fighters were in the middle of a campaign to liberate a nearby Rocher Sap refinery, 
with the possibility that Tarful could be one of the Wookiees detained there. Cal and BD1 agreed to help him. Now, question. Question. Error can't be shown. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, did, Saw Jarrera and Forrest Whitaker, were they in Star Wars? Is that like a thing that I should know about? And if so, where? Oh, they were in Rogue One. Okay. As we were talking about, I haven't seen that yet. Okay. Even more reason to watch it. Is he good in it? Infamous Onderonian insurgent Saw Guerrera leads a group of opposition fighters against the Empire on the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk. Harboring dark vengeance over the death of his sister during the Clone Wars. Is that a spoiler? Have I, has the Clone Wars been spoiled for me? Lives by a blurred mor moral line, considering collateral damage to be a necessary evil. He comes to respect Cal as a strong potential ally and useful tool in his endless war. He's serviceable. Could have had more present. He's all right. <laughs> it's interesting to see, like, that people are pretty much all on board for me. Like, he was fine. That's kind of how I feel about Triss in uh, the Netflix Witcher, you know? Like, she's... She's fine. She's okay. I guess. She's fine. Thank you, Zan. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hey, Quan. Hey, Cooler Man. Welcome. Hey, Simmer. Glad you're all right. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you, too. Oh, I, yeah, sure. We were talking to you. Your plan worked. And now you want to follow Saul? What do you think of Saul's plan? He's fighting a losing battle. I doubt freedom for the Wookiees is his only goal. He seems trustworthy. He might prove to be. But there's more going on here than we know. And don't forget the Empire fights dirty. Watch your tail in that refinery, kid. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. That's how you feel about Geralt's pants in The Witcher? It's fair. I watched uh, a small interview with uh, Cavill today. She's in no condition to fight. Uh, uh, You're right. There's no time. Stay strong until we get back. I always feel so bad for the Wookiees. Like, they're so expressive. Just let me know when you want to go. Either you heard the Parsons. Rumors and cantinas, but not much to go on. They call them radicals. I heard the Empire's got bounties on their heads. Bounties? Should I be worried about the bounties? Huh. I doubt it. War zones are bad for business. If the rumors are even true. So, uh, in the Cavill interview, he was talking about how he would have to uh, dehydrate for like three days to get ready for his like bath scenes in The Witcher, just so he could be like extra ripped. And uh, he was talking about how on day one he would w he would drink like one and a half liters of water, second day half liter, third day nothing, and then a lot of times. He was saying that filming would happen on the fourth day. And could you just imagine, like, how miserable it would be to A, be him, and B, be around him in that scenario? If anything goes wrong like, no thanks. Plan, we're finished. Mari's mapped out the nearest garrisons. The Empire won't have time to send reinforcements. We'll be okay. If we can do it quick. Saw's seen us through worse. I've got nothing but respect for that man, but this isn't a forest skirmish. I hope we're ready. It's also, that's the only reason that I don't have, like, a crazy six-pack. Is because, uh, I just love water so much. I just can't, I just can't go without water. Otherwise, I would have the best six-pack you've ever seen. Weapons cache. These specialized Imperial flamethrowers have been modified to more effectively incinerate Kashyyyk's wildlife. <laughs> yeah, Bim Battles, exactly. It is the only reason. Uh... Are any of you guys hydro homies? <laughs> Does anybody get that? I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. Any hydro homies in the chat? Or some hydro homie. Yeah, Reddit, exactly. There's a hydro homies subreddit? It's hilarious. This all should be at the other end of the stretch. Uh. Falstro is giving away a copy of They Are Billions uh, if you enter tab. You 
You got new pants and a bookshelf. Well, that's cool. Uh, cooler man. I got, um, I got a jacket from Iram for Christmas that doesn't fit. <laughs> the sleeves are like, the sleeves come up to like where this shirt's at. You know, uh, the rest was okay. And then, uh, she also, for my birthday, she sneakily got me a Lego set that I've been eyeing. And, uh, I now have. It's the, uh, Silent Mary ship from, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna make sure that we're... Where are we going here? Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna be blocked over there. I just wanna see if maybe there's, like, a chest or something. Yeah, I can't make that scan. What? Or that jump, sorry. No way across. Maybe something around here can help. Your excellent physique is heavily padded. <laughs> okay, so... We're definitely going to come back here at some point. Lego build stream when? Uh, I don't know. Probably in the new house, to be honest. Which will be within the next six months, hopefully. Uh, my dad sent me a box of, like, random stuff. I'm talking, like, anything from... I got socks with, like, rubber soles to, uh, lottery scratch ticket to hot sauces uh to uh a t-shirt that says saskatchewan on it with like some missing letters let's check out the bench over there could be something useful my uh my dad's very thoughtful <laughs> when it comes to gifts hilarious whoa what the shit okay that's new Oh, ho! Okay. Surprise attack. Okay. Okay. Half health. Doesn't matter. Finally, the Hive Queen showed up. <laughs> yeah. Today's today's video... Oh, what? Today's video, uh, I do find the Hive Queen, actually. Spoiler. Can't believe we have to come all the way back here. Moving out. You sent me a happy birthday? Oh, thank you. Thanks, Illusionist. Yeah, I'm ready this time. Are you kidding me? What the? So I have to get surprised. Let me out. Man, he's like pretty strong. I could probably parry that, eh? Not this. That wasn't too bad. Uh. Very agile for a spider that big. It's a uh, whisk, a whisk shock. A wee shock. A Y shock. How do you pronounce things with three Ys in a row? Is that an actual thing? Art made you scream and I was in a chat with your brother and husband and brother-in-law. <laughs> oh, when it like jumped out at you when you were playing? Attack from behind while creature is distracted by other prey. Parry its lunge attack to quickly strike it down. Y shocks are highly intelligent, multi-legged predators. They're found to be extremely aggressive to most sentient life forms. The known... Oh, and known to cast 
an adhesive enzyme that incapacitates their prey in a web-like stasis, allowing them to strike with their sharp and venomous fangs, wisely outsmarting any foe. They're, they often lower quickly from forest canopies or burrow, burrow to the surface from underground cover. If possible, prey should avoid any web strike. But if caught, fight to escape before the Wishuk closes in. Their hostility may provide strategic opportunities for a surprise attack from behind. Although capable of quick maneuvering, they occasionally find themselves susceptible to strikes in the head or appendages. Keep your cells moist. What? Gunner? <laughs> what are you talking? Thanks. I appreciate it. I will keep my cells moist. The YYY makes the yee sound, so it's a, a wee shick. Hold on. Uh, tactical guide. A shick. A wee shock? Wee shock. Did I see the news about the Witcher? No. What news, Chun? Is it bad news? How much current can you conduct? Well, with this transformer, I bet you can short circuit Imperial tech. Oh, BD1 buff. Very cool. Overcharge can now turn machinery on and off. Well, isn't that convenient? When he's near overcharge panels, let me guess. Overcharge panel. Let's try it. Oh, I see. Okay, we can turn things on and off. Yeah. Question is, how do I uh, get him? How do I get over to that side? I think I could have... Okay, never mind. I should have done this first. I think I need help with this. Toon says, So after the Netflix series, The Witcher 3 has surged to beat its launch numbers. In I saw this, yes. It was 85 max before, and I think yesterday was at 96k. And that's just on Steam. Yeah, it's insane. I've even noticed, like, my uh, my old Witcher series are getting views right now. Which is really weird. And really cool. Um, I think it's great, man. It's it, They did a really good job with it. And... Oh, what the... And I hope it, like, gives them the balls to go further with it. Can I not... Can I not grab this, or what? What am I missing here? Is it because it's going in the wrong direction? I guess so. Okay, hold on. This is blocked. Maybe we'll find a way to, like, switch direction at some point. But there's clearly something up there that I clearly want because it's shining and yelling at me that I need it. Mm. Kind of like how I feel about this. all Black Friday sales. Still need to get the books? I would highly advise you get the books. They're really well written, and the English translations are great. That, uh, no, we're cool. And you know what? If you don't want to commit to like a whole big book series, if you just watch The Last Wish, or just read The Last Wish, like, it gives you so much context, especially for the Netflix um, series. Oh. 
flame beetles. Airborne pests with flammable posterior will spontaneously combust in close proximity or upon death. Pesky flame beetle is a flying insectoid known for its bioluminescent combustible posterior. These creatures synthesize chemicals derived from local flora into a highly flammable derivative. Extreme caution should be exercised when in close proximity. Um, this tactical guide that they've put into this game is exceptional. It's probably one of the best that I've seen. I also really appreciate these, uh, not just the quest summaries, but the character breakdowns. And they're not like four pages long. It's like quick to the point. Here's what you need to know. It's really neat. Really well done. Hey, Luke. Thanks for stopping by, man. <clears throat> the, uh, you can get them, you can get them on, uh, audiobook, the Witcher, um, series, but in Canada, I can't get the last wish on audiobook for whatever reason. We almost didn't catch that. Jedi, over here. I love that he called me knowing I'd have to like wall run over there. Like it's no big deal. Imperial sap refinery lies dead ahead. What does the Empire want with tree sap? Nothing good. They refined the sap into a powerful compound and they're rushing it to expand production. Don't do it. We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know they're in game, but they spread themselves too thin. This map we recovered proves it. Here you go, bud. These refineries double as brutal prison camps. We use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. Watch yourself in there. You hear that? Said he needs my help. Hey, Bye. Jules. Thank you so much for coming by. Fleet, your parents got Canadian maple syrup for Christmas. And review. What do you think? It is good. <laughs> okay. A man of many words. This is uh, really bad for the environment, this factory. Can't use a VPN to buy your book? Uh, Yeah, I could probably to buy it, but then when I want to play it, it might be weird. I don't know. Hey, Batman. Hey, Doom, thank you so much for coming by. Uh, okay. 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 Holding slow... Slows all targets around him, increasing slow duration on target enemies. Increase the distance we can travel using dash strike. The step aside attack. Or deflecting blaster bolt while he's sprinting or wall running. That seems very specific. Uh... The sprinting is kind of nice, though. I'm going to take this. Yeah, sure. I'll buy into that. Because if anything just goes bad, then I just start running. Maple Leaf cookies are awesome. Agreed. Agreed. 100%. Agreed. Yes. Oh, you know what? We should rest here. Have you seen The Mandalorian? No, I have not. I haven't seen uh, Rogue One. I haven't seen 789. I haven't seen The Clone Wars. And I have not seen The Mandalorian. Um, the only thing I know about the Mandal the Mandalorian is uh, Baby Yoda. That's the only thing I know. Over there, one of the cutters turned on. Are they running some kind of drill? 
Maybe. Think we should call it in? Come on! Let's get him! Okay. Fire all weapons! Uh, understood. Lay down suppressing fire! I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh, you're dead. What are you doing? What are you hiding back here? Hello. I think Rogue One is wor worth watching. Like this. That's what I've been hearing. This place is a hideout in their battle against the Empire. Hey, Wookiee's in hiding. Wookiee helmet left behind in a hideout used by the warriors. Oh, damn. I would never have seen that. Doing okay, BD1? Oh! Get in there, big boy. Uh, Warlin, thanks for the 42 months, man. That's unbelievable, dude. Thank you so much. Nightrunner, thanks okay. for gifting a sub to people call me Lucifer. Something we can use? Scale Arc, thanks for the Prime sub. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. And thanks for all the birthday wishes, too. It means a lot. Even if you don't think it does. Uh. Attention all units. We've lost contact with our troops stationed at Cargo Pad 119 Greg. The Jedi. Okay, so if I can land that, it's like a full shield removal. Oh, hello. I am feeling one with the Jedi today. Okay, we're all clear. The fact that you're doing this on your birthday instead of just chilling is amazing in terms of dedication. Uh, well... Mostly... I just thought it would be fun. I didn't stream on Saturday. Um, I could've just streamed Saturday, Sunday as usual. <laughs> okay. Nailed it. But for me, like, streaming's not a chore. Like, I actually, I like it. And I wish I could dedicate more time to it. Man, they are, like, not shy with these, um, meditation circles, eh? They're really not. They're everywhere. Now I'm going to have a challenge. Oh shit, I went in deep. That was not the intended play. Oh, we've done it. Hello, Mr. Gravy. Hello. Uh huh. I believe it is. Oh, God. Damn. He's good. My hand won't fall. 
Walter. Fight me, traitor. Your life is mine. Oh no! You missed him. And his blocks are insane. Feeling the pressure. You're mine, traitor. Come on. I don't like where this is going. You cannot defeat the Empire. You will be delayed your destruction. I will make you suffer. Oh shit! Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Killer, killer! Looks like you're blocked. You were waiting for it. Never seen a trooper like that before. People of counterattacks after being parried remain vigilant. We'll briefly lower the defense at the end of a combo attack. Hunters of the Imperial Inquisitorius, the purge troopers track survivors of the treasonous Jedi Order. Operating in the shadows, they scour the galaxy to assist Inquisitors in their sinister mission. This specialized class is primarily, or skilled primarily with the Electro Staff, providing a lethal challenge to any lightsaber-wielding foe. Their agility and penchant for vengeance are displayed through a deadly combination of intuitive counterattacks and train maneuvering. You gotta get these Wookiees out of lockup. Yeah. Keep moving, Jedi. Vents open. Go. Okay. That was intense. My hands were sweating. Uh, Akiro Fai, thanks for the three months, man. Charles Lacour, thanks for the three months. Gravy, thanks for the 14. Me and Tom, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for the 28 months and 49 months from the dark, wintry northern Sweden. Thank you, guys. Hope you're doing well. It's almost like you haven't played Dark Souls for hundreds of hours. <laughs> I know, but this is not this. On the surface, this looks like, oh, Dark Souls, you'll be fine. Uh, but it's very different. Very different. I don't even know which way I get out of here. Oh, here. Your hands are sweaty like mom's spaghetti. Yeah, I feel that. Now I need a meditation circle, though. I need to get my yoga on. Oh, that was cool. Tight fit, huh, BD? Now we're just going to die to one flame beetle. Observe. We gotta slice this door. Oh, all right then. Something we can use? Matte lightsaber material? In a Stygian Prime BD1 skin. Ooh, I like this. How are we doing on the poncho? We don't have very many poncho outfits, hey? Few and far between. We could go sans poncho for a bit. Up, I've got this. Whoa! For the Empire. Come on! Come on, bro. I I saw that I saw the flamethrower happening earlier, and then I put it out of my mind, and I was prepared to die due to a flame beetle. However, I only got half of that statement correct. Oh my god. Little setback. Enemy! Enemy here! 
I guess. Are we good enough to win? See ya. Oh, I gotta fight this guy again. Frick! You cannot run forever. Oh! Oh, that was sick. Oh, damn. Almost did it without taking any damage. Okay. Okay. Not so scary this time. What difficulty are we playing on? We're on, uh, Grandmaster, the top one, whatever it is. Oh, you're not dead? Yeah. <laughs> so when there's like a group of these guys, right? It probably makes sense. I mean, I guess it depends on a bunch of different factors, but... You probably want to take the fight on as much as you can before you hit these guys at all, just to like be efficient with getting the, the full heal back, right? Find paths that outmaneuver the trooper. Flame Rifle requires cooldown after use, close the distance, and strike. It's a specialized commando supporting the war machine of the Galactic Empire. Highly proficient in the use of incendiary weapons. Their Flame Rifle has a range of roughly 10 meters, canvassing a wide but short range. Though limited in their agility, they make use of their weapon by restricting a target's freedom of mobility and forcing them into position. Although deadly, their Flame Rifle utilizes a combustible fuel source that requires time to cool down. Job. Ooh, Death Gambit is a good one. That one's being given away next. That's cool. I see it. So guys, what should we start playing in January? I'm gonna finish XCOM right away. You sure you wanna plug into this thing? Uh oh. Okay. And then I'm gonna finish Phoenix Point probably soon as well. Damn. Just finish XCOM again. New DLC for Frostpunk. Pokemon games. Okay. Oh, shortcut. That's why you wanted to move this thing. You had no idea that was there, did you? You well, just didn't. wanted to turn that cutter on. We're full health. I'll just activate this so we have it. Oh, we have a skill point, too. I didn't even notice. Increase the distance. We can use the dash strike. Let's actually take this. Holy. Okay. We have the thing where we can be running and then just use a regular attack to move in, but it's not... It still isn't quite what I'm hoping for, so maybe this will feel pretty good. Oh! 
Whoa! What the? Did I not reach this? Okay. You can't block forever. You're right. Stop jumping into poop. Dude, it's easier said than done. There's just something attractive about it. Oh yeah, okay. I love that. I think I should play Knights of the Old Republic? Imperial what year did that come out? Like 40 years ago? That's kind of what I figured. I know for a lot of people, like, those old, uh, older games have like a really important nostalgic vibe and I get recommended to play games like that a lot it's just that I don't know if I would necessarily enjoy it oh give me some space I was trying to force him off, but for some reason I couldn't trigger it. Holy ball sack. Damn. Say he's going to violate me? I'll impale you. Not cool. Now, end this. So fast. Oh, now he's running. I'll erase you from existence. Are you shaking, Jedi? Anxious Jedi. Too slow. Will Damn it. Stand and fight. Ah, oh, that feels good. Be a Jedi. <laughs> hey, Doom. What's up? Thank you so much. This needs power. Appreciate you being here, and thanks for the support. I'd like to see Christopher Rodden Friends play Heroes of Might and Magic 3 complete some small map. Hey, hold up a second. Should play Borderlands 3? <laughs> we should actually play Borderlands 3. Uh... Ooh, hello. We still don't have a force pull. Let's see what's on the other side first.
guards. Hey, this might be... Oh, uh, hold on. Can't tell if we're going to be blocked off here. Oh! -ho! We're here to free you. You're not alone. I've seen Wookiees look a bit better. Oh, shit. Turn. Visitation is not permitted. 